you thank you for clicking on this video specifically this boring video and emphasis on boring just because something is boring does not mean that it's bad for example I have a very simple humble life and it doesn't mean that my life is not as important or as exciting as some of the other people that you may see on YouTube which can sometimes lead to just feelings of I don't know just embarrassment that you don't have a certain lifestyle but I'm actually here to tell you that if you too are like me and you have normal life you have a normal job your life is still worthy and it's still just as important as someone who is I don't know a world-renowned chef a model etc just because you are normal <laughs> and simple does not mean that you are less. For example, here I am folding laundry that's probably been sitting in the dryer for three days. And the only reason I remembered is because I had to wash. And while I am here washing or doing laundry, there's probably a 16 year old getting a, I don't know about cars, maybe a Ferrari for their 16 16th year or I don't know what I'm saying but you get what I'm saying and it's fine we need to learn not to compare our lives to other people because since the day we are born we take different steps that lead us down different paths it is very very unfair to try to compare our life with someone else's because we're just different. Every day is different. From the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, there are many different decisions or I guess decisions that you have to make that pull you in different directions. And it's just unfair to compare your life with someone who is portraying to live a perfect life because they probably have their downfalls too. They just choose not to share with us. So I want to make videos that remind you that you are worthy no matter how simple you are. Like I said, simple does not mean bad and extravagant and loud luxurious does not necessarily mean good either. I want to make videos that motivate you and inspire you to be okay with being okay. Like you don't need to be more. You are who you are and you just gotta accept yourself. I also want to add that accepting yourself does not happen overnight. I mean, I definitely am not where I need to be. However, I can tell you I have come a long, long way. I used to struggle a lot with comparing my lifestyle to other people because I was always focused on what I didn't have I'm starting to realize that I never needed any of that in order to live a good life. Like money, of course, it does facilitate things, don't get me wrong, but it's not the end all be all. I would rather spend time with friends and family. Don't get me wrong, a billion dollars would definitely make me happy for the simple fact that I would be able to adopt all the animals in the world or build shelters or just do philanthropic things, but I think you understand where I'm going with that analogy. Side note, these are my little baby guinea pigs. Well, they're not really babies, they're adults, but they're so tiny and small and chunky that they are my babies. I rescued them about a year ago or so, and this is pepper, and the other one was salt. Look how cute! In the next videos, I just want to show you guys that you don't always need to buy material things in order to, let's say, fill your cup. For example, we decided to go to a national park for the day and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, these types of memory making adventures are what keep me going because one day with my family or friends or just you know, people that I genuinely love and care for will carry me through a horrible week of work. And sometimes you just gotta do that. Do things for yourself. 
and I'm not talking about material things, but get out there and just do something that you enjoy, like a hobby. We actually did this a few days ago, actually, but I can guarantee that I will remember this for years to come. But let's say that I had bought, I don't know, like a lipstick. I would eventually have forgotten about it. And the reason that I want to show you my pantry is because everything on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, any of those platforms, everything is picture perfect. And in a way, this can lead to just feelings of embarrassment because you may not have the things that you're seeing on social media. For example, my pantry. This is not Pinterest worthy. I'm just trying to tell you that if you do not live a perfect life, if your house does not look perfect, it does not mean that it is less than. This is a, what mine looks like and it's fine. There is nothing wrong with it. It's functional. It works. It doesn't look like, you know, the things you see on TikTok, but I don't want you to feel bad if yours doesn't either. I'm showing you mine so that you have someone to relate to and know that it's okay to be normal. It's okay to not have everything perfectly lined up. It's okay to have things be a little ugly looking. Ugly is not bad. Anyway, my simpletons, I just wanted to share this vlog with you of me doing normal things to show you that being normal is fine. Being normal is okay and you don't have to be embarrassed for not having the latest I don't know, iPhone or being or taking part of the latest trend, you are fine. Enjoy the things that make you happy regardless of what other people say or think about you. So anyway, thanks for watching.